Hello and welcome to the In Your Pools How To Guide section. In this video, we will be walking you through how to replace an Aquarite main PCB. The main PCB for the Hayward Aquarite will occasionally fail. Most of the time, this is due to an electrical surge. The following steps will provide a guide on how to replace the GLX-PCB-RITE. Turn off the power to the timer box. There should be a circuit breaker before the timer box where the power can be turned off. Unlatch the lock and open the door to the Hayward Aquarite control box. Using a 516 socket or a screwdriver, remove the two screws that secure the cover panel to the box. Pull the cover panel out of the Aquarite control box. Pull the display PCB off of the main PCB. The display PCB will simply lift right off of the GLX-PCB-RITE. Step 6. Remove the gray, violet, white, blue, orange, and yellow cables from the Hayward Aquarite main PCB. We recommend using a pair of needle nose pliers. Remove the red and black cables from the black terminal located in the top right corner of the box. Note, the new board will come with a new black and red cable. With a 516 socket or a screwdriver, loosen the two screws that hold the main PCB in place. They do not need to be completely removed. Slide the old Hayward main PCB out of the control box. Place the new main PCB into the control box. Tighten the two screws at the bottom of the GLX-PCB-RATE with a 516 socket or a screwdriver. Attach the new red and black cable from the board to the black terminal located in the top right corner of the box. The red cable will be connected to the lower right terminal connection and the black cable will connect to the upper left terminal connection. Attach the gray, violet, white, blue, orange, and yellow cables to the Hayward GLX-PCB-RITE board. The terminals on the board are labeled with a particular color. Each colored cable should be matched to the color indicated on the board. Press the display board back onto the new Hayward main PCB. Make sure the long pins for the main PCB match up with the holes on the display PCB. Place the control box cover into the box. Tighten the two cover screws with a 516 socket or a screwdriver. The power light and the display should be illuminated if everything is operating correctly. Close the door to the Hayward Aquarite and continue to enjoy the benefits of your saltwater pool. 
you have any additional questions, please feel free to call us toll free at 1-877-372-6038 or visit us online at www.nupools.com.